But my career started here in Belize way back. I was a yachtsman for 12 years before I got into filmmaking. And、uh, while I was on board a boat, I、uh, bought myself a little hand wine Bolex. And natural history films really were in their infancy then. And I'm talking about sort of early 70s. I started shooting、uh, 100 foot rolls and、uh, sending them back to the UK. And I got a A company called Partridge Films,、uh, interested in what I was doing, and that's what really started me on the road. I met Carol down in Panama.、Uh, we,、uh, Carol was a researcher down there working with the Smithsonian. Decision to join me and make it. We've been working as a team ever since. It's taken us all over the world, and you've got to have an understanding and some basic knowledge of how nature works. And you have to really know the behavior of animals and have not only a plan A, a plan B. We were some of the first, I think, to use、um, high-quality thermal images. We were lucky enough to know some bat biologists that were working with a company in California that were developing the state-of-the-art infrared cameras. We would go into a cave, and uh, uh, you know, it would be pitch dark, and we would crank up this camera. The whole cave would light up, and you, all the bats would be hanging there like light bulbs. And you could go in tight, and you could see all the details on the bats. We got some absolutely amazing images, really very beautiful images as well, and they were new to the scene. A spectacular thing to have, certainly at that time. But nowadays, we're doing more down-to-earth stuff, conservation work. We make short films for local consumption and also for fundraising for NGOs and such like. And doing those, we make the entire film here. We come up with the the concept, we、uh, we write it,、uh, I shoot most of it, and then Carol does the the editing. You have to be really passionate to do this business well and prepared to go to any lengths to get what you want to do.